Well, hi guys, welcome to a macro photography video. I thought it'd be good to just kind of film me doing macro and sharing the whole process really. Yeah, I don't really have a plan for today, I'm just showing you what I'm doing pretty much. It's about 7 a.m. now. I thought it'd be good, you know, coming in the morning because it's cold. Bugs don't move much when it's cold. And all I found so far is these dock beetles. And they all seem to be mating. I don't know what it is with dock beetles, but they they love a good rumpy puppy. Anyway, I'm gonna use this blue background here, place it on the floor, and then I'm just gonna grab the leaf for stability. Oh, okay, never mind. They've just jumped off the leaf. Lucky there's plenty of dock beetles about. And I'm just gonna grab the leaf, hopefully it doesn't fling off. And then what I usually do is take a few single shots to see what the scene looks like. And then once I'm happy with that, switch to my preset C1, which is, which I've set up a bracketing mode. I think it's on all the Olympus cameras. It's on this one at least, the OM1 Mark II. And all I gotta do is press the shuttle once. And it will take several photos at different focal points so I can stack them later in processing. You know what, sometimes I can just never find the bug in the viewfinder. There we go. Right, so I just came a bit further down and I found, I think it's a click beetle and a little spider. I'm not sure what spider it is exactly, but it's, I know it's a common looking one. Oh, there's a weevil down here as well. There's always weevils and stinging nettles. Yeah, luckily this bug is sort of on the top of the stinging nettles, so not deep down where I'd have to try and get my camera in there, but I'm just going to go straight for the stack, I think. It's a bit hard to kind of get a nice focus stack when it's on the top of a stinging nettle. I don't really want to hold the stinging nettle to keep it steady. So uh, a lot of the time I go for focus stacks like I'm doing now, but they don't really work out in post, but it's always worth going for it when you're on the day. Cause I've had it sometimes where I've gone for a focus stack thinking it just will not work at all. And then when I've came to edit it, it's, it's worked out a lot better than I thought. So I've just found a lot of bugs in this little corner. I just found a ladybird as well. The weevil's kind of, Chill in there, I could probably get a photo of it now actually. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. As soon as I clicked the shutter, he started moving. But now he's stood still again. Let's see if he stays still. And he started moving again. <laughs> right, I was just taking photos. I was like, what is that sound? And then there's some swan ducklings, swanlings. What do you even call baby swans? Are they called ducklings still? I don't know. They're not really ducks, are they? I think I'll go for the spider because he seems to be in a nice, easy spot. <sighs> I usually rest my elbows on like the floor or on my knees like I'm doing now, it makes it a lot easier to kind of keep my camera steady when I'm doing focus stacks. You can also hold the leaf. This one's not a stinging now. Oh, the spider just came out of the web. I 
I could do a larger focus stack there, but I got one recently on one of those spiders. Try and get a picture of this ladybird. I actually haven't got a picture of a ladybird this year yet. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to rip this leaf off. I don't think I have to. That'll do for the ladybird. Every time I seem to take a photo, it seems to move after like five, 10 photos. So it's a bit hard to stack. I'll show you it here on camera. There he is. Just a little speck. There's size comparison to my fingernail. <clears throat> and then there's the spider I was photographing. He's turned around now. And then Weevil's down there somewhere. So I've just walked all the way down this path and you'd think I'd see something worth photographing but I've actually seen nothing. Well I have seen things, I just haven't seen them in an opportunity where I can photograph them. There is another dock beetle on this leaf if I get desperate. So I just found a little moth, I'm not sure what they're called, I've seen them a lot. This one seems to be sat nicely. But there is some grass in the way. I'm gonna try and move that without disturbing them off. No, oh, okay, I'll disturb them off. <laughs> so I'm just looking in these buttercups and I found two little beetles. It's always nice looking buttercups, there's always something in there. I'll try and put a background behind this. I'm trying to get my fingers in the background. So for this one, just because they're moving around, I'm keeping it on uh, burst mode rather than the, the stacking mode because it's pretty much impossible to stack these beetles when they're moving around this much. I think that's enough of the beetles. I just noticed this spider while I was there. Don't know if I'll be able to get a photo of it because it, sorry, it went back to its web, but I'll try. I'm not actually sure what those spiders are called, but they seem to be everywhere. Ooh, I just noticed a really like blue beetle. This is gonna be hard to kind of get a photo of because it's probably gonna fly away or run away or something, but I think I'll use the yellow background if I can. I'm just gonna place it on the floor and then try and maneuver the stem. It's sort of on a stem of a plant, so. Seems very still. I'll go for a focus stack. So what I'm actually doing to keep this stable is holding the leaf or stem of this plant and then resting my camera on my fingernails, which is holding the stem. And that means my camera and the bug stay at the exact same position. And then by using the focus stacking tool, I don't have to move my camera at all to focus stack to get all those frames. And I'm just doing a few rounds because I'm not sure if I've got every single shot. I'm gonna go for a more magnified shot as well. Go to one to one on my lens. And I'm using, I forgot to mention, I'm using the Raynox DCR250, which is making my one to one lens it's more magnified, I'm not sure how much more magnified, probably like two, three times. I think I'm pretty happy with those shots, I'll leave the beetle for now. If I leave it there, I could probably come back and find it. But while I'm here, I think I might get another shot of that spider.
So I just came further down and I found a beetle that was I think it's the same as the one I saw earlier. I'm not sure if I can... This one's in a lot of... a much easier spot to photograph. And he's gone under the leaf and he's gone on the grass. And he's going to the floor. He was literally on the top of the leaf there and now he's all the way at the bottom in the grass. Got two... I forgot what they're called. They're just called like leaf. Nettle weevil, nettle weevils, leaf weevils. Not sure what they're called exactly, but they are common. Um, but these ones seem to be mating. Oh, okay, they've gone away now. They wanted to mate in peace. So I've came back to the first spot I started at and I've just found a, I think they're called a sawfly and I've never seen a green one like this. It's gone on the stinging nails now. I'm not really getting the shot I wanted to get but I have got I don't even know if it's in focus. Okay, I think it's in focus, but it's slightly off frame. Might actually be able to use a background now on this bug, because it's... It just doesn't seem to be scared anymore. I've just got a stinging nettle in my finger. <laughs> Bloody grass in the way. Managed to get a portrait. I'm gonna test my luck. Let's see if I can put the purple background behind it as well. Oh, okay, it's flew off. Too good to be true. And to end off the video, I'm just gonna get a picture of these dock beetles, which I know it's one dock beetle, never mind. Just because I feel like the shot I got earlier wasn't that great and I can get a better one right now. Right now I think that'll do for today's video. Um, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you like this sort of content where I just kind of freestyle and show you the process and what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. Um, if you'd like to see more, you know, let me know in the comments or if you've got any suggestions for any videos, anything you want to know about the camera or the gear or editing methods, anything like that. Drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.